Your buy box looks a little funny with that price hidden. I'll tell you how to fix it. My name is Stephen Pope and I'm the founder of my Amazon guy. Here you can see what a listing looks like when the price is hidden. And of course, you have to go all the way through the add to cart functionality to see what the price is. The item is still purchasable, but the consumer is going to be a little bit off put and this is going to drastically affect conversion rates, could affect advertising as well as some SEO rankings. So this is a hot topic issue needs to get resolved. Here's the good news. Pretty easy to resolve this. If you go into managed inventory of any Seller Central account where you have your item in question, in the far right hand side, you see these preferences up here. Go ahead and click that. And let's see, I have that up here. All right, hold on. Here's the preferences. And then you go down and click this checkbox right there for minimum advertised price. Once you do that, refresh this page, and then you'll see a column appear for minimum price. Now, the way that this bug happens is when this minimum price is above the price right here, the actual sale price. See how it says 45 there? the minimum advertised price was higher. So you breached the threshold of under that minimum price. The solution here is to lower it. Put the minimum advertised price below your regular price of 45. Special call out here, you do need to make sure that your sales price, which does not show up right here from the offer page, is also above the minimum price. So to do this, go to the offer page after you click on edits, and you'll see right here, here's the price, here's the sales price. Let's say we had this at 39, for example, right there. And we had the minimum advertised price at 40. Well, on the other screen, it said 45 and 40 should have been fine, but the sales price still breaches it. Many of you are probably watching this video because you haven't checked the sales price and that's the problem. So get that um, minimum advertised price below sales price and you'll probably get that fixed in about 15 minutes. Once you do that, wait about 10 or 15 minutes, refresh the page, 90% of you should have the problem resolved at this stage. If you're the lucky 10% that it's still not working, here's a couple more things to check. First, go into the inventory page and type the ASIN in. If you have duplicate SKUs on the same ASIN, where you have one SKU for FBM, one SKU for FBA, set the minimum advertised price on both listings. Don't forget, check the sales price on both listings. If that's not your issue and you only have a single product, you've set it correctly and it's still bugged, the next step is to do a template upload. This is when you're gonna download your inventory report. Always do a backup before you upload your inventory. Edit the minimum advertised price in the template field and upload that into Seller Central. To do that, you can first back up your inventory by going to Reports, Inventory Reports, and that'll bring you to this page. You're gonna to wanna to download the Category Listings Report All. On most accounts, you'll now see this in the dropdown here under Category Listings Report. However, some of you don't have access to this yet and you'll need to file a ticket asking Amazon to enable it for you. You'll notice this is in beta at this time, um, and so the features may be changed, and this video might be out of date by the time you watch it. So, But you do want to back up the data. Um, this is not a critical step. Technically, you don't have to do this, but it's a very wise step because if you mess something up, you have a backup that you can simply reload. After you do the backup, the next thing would be to go ahead and edit the template, and you're just going to go look for the minimum advertised, advertised price field. Here's an example of one of those templates where you can see in the column Bravo Yellow, it says map price, also known as minimum advertised price. In this field, you would simply load the same information. So if we wanted the map price to be 35, we load it like that. You can then simply take that one SKU in question, right? So we have all the SKU all over on the left-hand side here. And then you could load that into Seller Central by going to the inventory uploader page. Um, because you've backed up the data, you could just take all the same fields, simply fill in that one minimum advertised price field that we did on Bravo Yellow, and then simply load it in. To load the inventory file, you're going to go to Catalog, Add Products via Upload, and simply grab the Excel file. Put your email in there because you might get an error message, though pretty rare if you're only editing the minimum advertised price field. Hit Upload. 
You can monitor the upload status by going to this tab, and in here you can download the processing, processing report to see if it worked. It, it really should. It shouldn't be a problem at all. And then the way you'll know if this worked, of course, if you go back to the page in question and the price hidden goes away. So that's the solution. However, if that doesn't work, the next step will be to file some tickets with Amazon. To do that, you go to the top right and hit help. Scroll down to get support. Selling on Amazon. And you could type in something like this, minimum advertised price or hidden price, and see what comes up with the continue. But normally I don't use this because sometimes when you use the listing stock active or displaying feature, although worth trying, most of the time doesn't work. So I'll eventually go make my way down, browse the issue on the menu. I'll go to products, listings, or inventory. And then in here, um, I will select, well, they change the menu, so it's always a little bit different sometimes. Inventory file upload issue, those are a pretty safe bet, especially if you use the inventory file we just did and demonstrated. In here, you can select the problem, type something out along the lines of uh, my products, pri the price is hidden on my product. Type in the ASIN in question. Um, I have loaded the map price to X. My sale price is Y. Uh, price is still hidden. Uploaded template file, see attached, please fix. Make price not hidden, right? Simple ticket, you tell them what the problem is, you give them the proper information, you upload your file, and then you hit submit. This is likely gonna cause, and you're gonna hit the email, by the way, don't do phone calls. Phone calls almost never work. The only time I do phone calls is if I've gone two days without the ticketing support working too well or if i got a critical issue that I've just got to stay on the phone for four hours until it gets resolved. Sometimes I'll do that and ask for escalation, 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 manager, please, captive team, whatever it takes. But by and large, you'll file that ticket um, and you should be able to get resolution within 48 hours. And if you don't, keep escalating until you do. Amazon is a culture of escalation. Check out my other catalog troubleshooting videos here. I've got lots of playlists, over 1,100 videos that we've put out to solve any Amazon problem. And if you'd prefer to hire us to handle these for you so you don't have to deal with this, please consider hiring us for a coaching call. You can do that over at myamazonguy.com slash coaching or click the coaching button right there. That'll bring up our team of coaches. And for troubleshooting catalog issues, I recommend Shabon. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. We run a full digital agency. You can check out our full services at myamazonguy.com slash FS and see all of the things that we do. We have hundreds of employees trained how to fix any tr catalog troubleshooting issue. You can see we got lots of information about this right on the website. We'll see you later.